Lynn Show. Hello there, happy to greet you again. This is Morris Kellard welcoming you on behalf of William Finn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Caved, and Hurry Dargy and his esquires. The entire ensemble join in a paean of praise to that elusive season, the good old summertime. In the good old summertime, in the good old summertime, strolling through the shady lane with your baby mine, you hold her hand and she holds yours, and that's a very good sign. Passionate friends, William Flynn and the orchestra bring you Lover's Moon.
While the string section had their heads down to that musical -like expression of sweet sentiment, I noticed the sly glances that Dorothy Caveford gave to their rapidly thinning hair. Know why? She's next on the bill to sing Spring in December. Sunshine or April showers, dark clouds or skies of blue, snowfall or summer showers, they all depend on you. Spring in December. offer you now a tidy little slice of country, 160 acres to be precise, and the vendor is Max Blake. Where the mountains meet the sky, there's a spot that's all my own, wouldn't trade it for a world of gold, it's my home sweet home. I got a hundred and sixty acres in a valley I got a hundred and sixty acres of the best I got a cold stove there that'll cook three square And a bunk where I can lay me down to rest 
Up at dawn to greet the sun I've forgotten what a care or worry means Head for home when day is done And the pocket money jingling in my jeans I got 160 acres full of sunshine I got 160 million stars above I got an old paint horse I'm the guy who's boss on 160 acres that I love. I've got 160 acres in the valley. I've got 160 acres of the best. Got a cold stove there that'll cook three square and a bunk where I can lay me down to rest. Up at dawn to greet the sun. I've forgotten what a care or worry means. Head for home when day is done, and the pocket money's jingling in my jeans. I've got a hundred and sixty acres full of sunshine. I've got a hundred and sixty million stars above. Got an old paint horse. I'm the guy who's boss on the hundred and sixty acres that I love. I got a hundred and sixty acres in a valley. I got a hundred and sixty acres of the best. Got a cold stove there that'll cook three square and a bunk where I can leave it on a rest. I'm a dawn to greet the sun. I've forgotten what a care or worry means. Head for home when day is done and the pocket money jingles. I've got a hundred and sixty acres full of sunshine. I got a hundred and sixty million stars above. Got an old main boss. I'm the guy who's boss on the hundred and sixty acres that I love.
That bright little affair was called Dance of the Munchkins. And now we interrupt this pleasant interlude to bring you an unfavourable weather report. A deep depression is rapidly approaching our microphone, and I'm afraid we must prepare to be buffeted by those four gusty, lusty <laughs> vocal disturbances, the Esquires, who insist on giving us the gay desperado. Get along, little doggy, gonna hit the trail. I'm gonna tie up my fiddle to the hitching rail. ILM. I sigh. ILM. Still the same sigh. There was a gay tornado from the wild and woolly west. He wore a gay sombrero and a gun beneath his vest. He went to old Chicago just to give the West a rest. And everywhere he went he gave his war. He's just a bold bad man, that desperado. From Cripple Creek way down in Colorado as he strolls along like a gay tornado. And everywhere he goes he gives his war. ILM. Hi, Si. Hi, ILM. No different from before, Si. He went to Coney Island just to take in all the sights. He saw the hoochie coochie and the gals all dressed in sights. He got so darned excited that he shot out all the lights. And everywhere he went, he gave his war. He's just a bold bad man, that desperado. From Cripple Creek way down in Colorado As he strolls along like a gay tornado And everywhere he goes he gives his woe I am I sigh I said I am Practically the same There was a fat policeman walking up and down his beat. He saw the gay tornado causing trouble in the street. He grabbed him by the collar and he took him by the seat. And he put him where he couldn't give his war. He's just a bold bad man, that desperado. From Cripple Creek way down in Colorado as he strolls along like a gay tornado. And everywhere he goes he gives his war. He's just a bad man. Colorado! <laughs> well, now that that's blown over, let's turn to a pleasing mixture of George Gershwin and Max Blake. The number is Maybe.
despite my early and somewhat unkindly crack at the thinning hair of our string section, uh, they give us another example of youthful yearning in Gypsy Love Song. We opened our program with good old summertime. We close it with what our cynical director calls a companion piece, 24 hours of sunshine. There are 24 hours of sunshine every day that you're in love. There are 24 hours of sunshine and flowers with rainbows up above. Let the rain fall. Anything that might fall, there's one thing you're bound to be wrong. There are 24 hours of sunshine every day that you're in love. There are 24 hours of sunshine every day that you're in love. There are 24 hours of sunshine and flowers with rainbows up above.
that's all for now. But we'll be with you again soon. This is Morris Gallard saying au revoir on behalf of William Finn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Cayford, and Holly Dargie and his esquires. The show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara.